folks today we are going to do a quick edit in GIMP a little trick that can bring out some contrast and some vibrance to your colors and uh, make your subjects pop a little better so if you don't have GIMP it is a free open source photo editing software um, just go online and navigate to GIMP.org go to the official site click the download button and click run and follow the directions on the screen and download and install the program once you do that open the program and there's several ways you can load images but usually I'm scrolling through a huge folder of images and I find one so I just click on it and hold down my uh, left mouse button drag it down to GIMP then back up into the canvas area and let go and load the image first thing we need to do is make some duplicate layers you can do that by clicking on this button here or you can right click and click duplicate layer so we want four layers in total uh, we want to make sure that this layer is selected by clicking on it and you can see it highlights so we'll go to colors desaturate make sure it's uh, the mode set to luminance click OK go to colors and uh, invert and invert it then we're going to do filters blur Gaussian blur and uh, we're going to set this at about uh, 18 or so you want it to be blurry but you want to still be able to see some of the detail in the negative click OK now merge this layer down which is going to merge the top layer into the layer below it now set the mode for this layer to burn okay so now what we do to soften the effect is lower the opacity and zoom in a little bit and when you're doing these edits it's really by eye what looks good to you so you know each one's going to be different the settings you can also set the modes differently like overlay and see how that looks play with the opacity or multiply again move the opacity around and see what you like uh, burn usually works pretty good for these bright landscape photos So let's uh that's the before and after. Okay, so let's go ahead and merge this layer down. Merge these top two layers. I'm gonna make a couple other slight edits to it. Uh we wanna bring out some of this browns and reds. So to do that we'll lower the temperature a little bit. Oh, right there. Click OK. And I want to uh, lighten up this background and bring out uh, more contrast. So we'll lighten the, sh the shadow and highlights a little. Again, you're just kind of doing what looks good to you. You don't want to get too carried away because we have a lot of artifacts in your picture and noise. Okay. 
click OK. Um, fiddle with the brightness and contrast and see if we like what we see. Yeah, bring that out a bit. Move the contrast up just slightly. Click OK. So there's before and there's after. So now to save this, uh, there's a couple ways you can save. You can save as a XCF file, which is a GIMP file that you can come back into and reverse some of these edits or add to them or whatever you need to do. Or let's go ahead and delete this layer because we don't need it. We were just using it so I could compare the before and after. We can export as many different files. We can change this to PNG, um, the WebP files, or any, just about any file, uh, PDF, uh, however you need to do it. We're going to save this one as meta dot JPG. Uh, that's the easiest one for you to use to upload to your Facebook or Instagram account. Click export. Um, make sure this quality is set to 100. And export. Okay. So here is the before and here is the after. Thanks for watching.